What's going guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, I was out doing a walk earlier and I was um, contemplating some things. And I figured I would just share it with you and to whom it may concern because this might not be for everybody. But I was thinking about rainy days. You know, uh, it might rain today actually. I don't know, but it's uh, it's cloudy and it got me thinking about rainy days and some things that happened in my uh, the last few uh, days in my life and um, other things, but rainy days are so important for growth, man. And uh, if you grow plants, you know this, you understand this. Um, I was watching a another YouTube channel. It goes by uh, the name of uh, Bella's Whisper Farmstead. It's a pretty good channel. You should check it out. Kristen and Mike, they do um, like homesteading stuff. They do videos and all kinds of stuff. But uh, today they were making, or the day I was watching, they were making a rain catchment system. Uh, for rainwater and they were going to use the water for various purposes including uh, you know watering the garden and um, Mike was explaining how rainwater as it comes from the sky is much better for the plants uh, than uh, hose water from the ground or whatever and um, this is true I, I, I've gotten a chance to witness this over the last couple of years uh, that it that it is indeed true now old heads have told me this my whole life and I kind of you know I wondered why you know there's got to be a scientific reason and I don't know the scientific reason but uh, we'll use cucumbers as an example I mean you can water and water them they need a lot of water uh, to begin with but you're watering them from the hose and uh, you're keeping them alive and they grow and you got the little cucumbers and the, and the flowers but if you have a couple days of rain and you just leave them leave it be you know God's taking care of it you come back and you see what what happened with that um, you know, there's going to be cucumbers everywhere. You're like, wow, dude, <laughs> where do these cucumbers come from? It's the rain. It promotes growth like none other. It really does. You need sunshine and you need nutrients. You need sustenance, like in life, uh, to grow. But that rain really has a big impact on uh, on things. And and so it's like that in our life too. You know, we have rainy days. Maybe like, maybe not outwardly, but inwardly. You know, you're having a rainy day and nothing's going the way you expected it to go. And if you're like me. You want to do things a certain way and you're like i'm gonna do this like you know what i mean like i'm gonna do this you don't have to stop me well sometimes you get stopped uh, so i'll give you an example the other day i was uh gonna go out and doordash i was gonna make a couple hundred bucks out of gold two hundred dollars go doordash shouldn't be a problem right um it was it was a it was a nice day to do it you know and um but i got to the car and i came to the realization that oh man i've got to do something to this car some work and I need something from the store to do this work. And uh, I'm already starting to get upset, you know. I'm already starting to get upset because I need this. I need these things from the store to go do this work and um, and get the car on the road so I can work, so I can do my plan, right? My, I had plans that day of working. Anyway, so I go to the store. My wife texts me. We got a list of things we need, right? Okay, so... This is kind of in a way, this is like, oh, this is another thing. But then I'm like, well, maybe this is good because, you know, at least something will come of it. I'll get the stuff from the store. She doesn't have to mobilize three children. She's pregnant. This is good. I'll knock this out and uh, at least I'll have that done. So I go to the store, I go to Walmart and I go to the clearance section because the, those of you who don't know, I resell things on uh, eBay. And uh, so I have a hard time not going to the clearance section when I go to any store because it could, could be something, you know, there. There usually is. and uh, But anyway, it was a good day in the clearance section this day. And um, it started with one little item that was uh, it was marked way down. It was a pretty valuable item. And then I found another one. And then I started shuffling around things. And underneath here was another one and another one. And <laughs> I ended up putting a lot of items in the cart from the clearance section with really good profit margins. like And pretty quickly selling items, too. Very confident these things are going to sell within the next two or three weeks it'll all be gone the money will come back and it's uh, increased greatly okay so as I'm in this process I see these things and I'm like oh, God provides and I'm thinking about it like, okay. why was I so upset you know we get so upset when things don't go our way right you wanted a sunny day but you got a rainy day and uh, that's what happened to me, you know? And I think of like, you know, um, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. 
saith the Lord. It's in Isaiah 55. Look it up. Um, but it is true. You know, God has a plan for our life. And, and you know, if you believe that, uh, and I'm certainly seeing it, then you, you, we don't have to be upset all the time when something doesn't go exactly right. And I, we need to start like, and I, this is a hard lesson for me because um, I'm the first to just to get upset about it, right? To like, ah, I wanted to do this, but it's not working out that way. And, you know, so that was what I learned that day. You know, God was like telling me a lot, telling me something. He was saying, look, I'm going to provide for you, but you got to do this other thing. It ended up, you know, and this is a provisional thing, but, but there's other ways this, this plays out in life too. Um, I mean, in so many different ways, this is just one little example, but I mean, in this day, my wife really did need those things. And so it was actually a good thing that I didn't haul off and go to another city and then leave her to have to, like I said, get all the kids together and everything and, and then go to the store for just these little things when it all got worked out. You know, I got the thing I needed for my car. I got enough inventory for the store for more than a day's worth of work, profit-wise. Now, it'll come as time goes on. It's not instant. eBay is a long game, you know, so it's like a delayed gratification. It's my kids in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. But um, it's a delayed gratification type of thing, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. So it's actually kind of better because I'm actually setting myself up for the future. Or in this case, God was setting me up for the future to have uh, provisions come in. Maybe as I need them, I don't know. But that's something that I learned. Now, I did a, I did a video the other day. It doesn't mean don't work hard. The Hustle Don't Stop was the name of the video. And I, I know the grammar's not right. I know that. But the Hustle Don't Stop. <laughs> it's true. Um, you know, um, by the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread. That's in uh, Genesis 3. It's true. You got to work. And we all got to work. We got to hustle. You know, sometimes people, they have, um, they have these hacks and ways they're going to they're gonna make this money without, you know, and it's easy, blah, 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 blah. Well, easy come, easy go. And that is true. Now, you can get smarter about it. And you can write a book and things. But when you write a book, you're putting in energy. You're putting in work. And then it comes back. Uh, but you have to do things in life. And so that is absolutely true. The hustle don't stop. If you haven't seen that video, go go watch it. It's a short one, but it's a, you know, whatever. It was a, just another thought that I had. And, uh, yeah. But rainy days, man, they're great for growth. When we have those days, we grow. How did I grow from that day? That was a rainy day for me, but I grew from it because I, I got to actually hear a lesson that God was trying to teach me. Um, and, and it... The icing got put on the cake by later on I actually did go out and and I was working and I had set like uh, goals for you know it wasn't $200 anymore but I only had a few hours so you know and I was just short of that at the end of the day right I was short about $35 and then I got a I got a delivery it was two deliveries for 15 I had been done in the big city and I was like well I didn't make all that money but that's okay I came back through into my small town where I normally don't work but I turned the app on and boom $15 showed up. I was like, well, I'll take it. It was two deliveries. I got to the second delivery. I was like, man, this is the end of the night. It's just going to be what it is. And uh, about $20 short, though. And the customer comes out and gives me a $20 cash tip on top of it. Boom. I even met the goals that I was, that, that you know, I kind of knew I needed to meet. And um, I feel like that was just God mess hammering that message home, right? Uh, for me, but now this is not, I understand a lot of you guys, well, you probably already clicked off. Um, you know, you may not believe that God has a plan for your life. You know, you do you, I guess it is what it is. This is just what I'm seeing in, in my life. Right. And believe if you look for it, you'll find it in your life too. Uh, but anyway, those rainy days, great for growth. It's not a bad thing. You need the sun. You need the nutrients, and you need the rain. It's enough for the day, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.